And that's the reason why I changed my party to Republican, to the Republican Party. It was because of him. And it wasn't just for me. For the first time last in the last couple of years, you saw more black conservative candidates than ever running for Congress and for the Senate seats. And all of that was because of President Trump. Oh, okay. so basically, you blessed the guy that gave you the shirt. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Um, Tuesdays and Thursdays are our busiest day. There are so many black women running. And so many of them are outspoken. We are speaking and we are fighting for everything that we believe in. But one of the problems is that for some of us, we're not getting the support of the party. We're not getting that help that we need from the GOP. We're not getting that help that we need from the Republican National Party as well. Because they don't feel like we can win these seats that we are running for, especially if it's in a heavily Democratic district like this district that I'm in. But the truth is, if you put even a little support behind a candidate and... um you would be surprised how much more that could even help the candidate if you bring them the resources that you have. We are generally conservative in our thinking. In fact, we are the most conservative voters, but we don't vote conservative as black people. But when you look at a black person, you automatically say Democrat. What kind of political power then do we have? What? You don't hear someone say to a man, and particularly a white man running for office, that they're not electable or they're not viable candidates. Right. Those are words that you hear. I call them coded words for women and particularly women of color. And when you start sharing that you don't believe a, a woman is not electable, that slows down her money. It slows down her institutional support. And there's actually no definition of what does electable mean um, it, other than we needing to change the, the perception of what leadership looks like. We have more black candidates running for office this cycle than ever before. And so we are growing our party. We are taking this message everywhere across the country. Everybody loves you. Greatest guy on the 